Hey guys and welcome back to yet another Chelsea video in our Foot Manager Mobile 2020 career series. Unfortunately I'm going to have to keep this video again short as I'm running out of time having to record Manchester United videos on the side as well and um, sorry about that. We're ready to now head over to Crystal Palace in the Premier League and then uh, we're, we're going to have to welcome Salzburg in our second game of the Champions League. We're still looking for our first win in the Champions League. And uh, in terms of the table though, we're six points. Actually, we could be uh, three points behind them if we win the next game, as we do have a game in hand compared to the uh, rest of the uh, table or the top six teams. We're ready to head to Crystal Palace now, knowing that we need a win here to close the gap. Three point, a three point gap from six points is very, very big. And it will shortly, sh surely, sorry, Ease, um, ease the pressure later on in the season. We're ready to bring Emerson and Aspilicueta on. Pulisic still injured, unfortunately, but he's only a few days away from recovery, so we'll possibly see him in the next game after this one. And then in terms of the whole squad, though, we're looking good. Christensen is ready to come up for Tomori. Zuma. Rudiger is going to come on for Zuma. There is a blog on for Caballero and uh, Jorginho on for Loftus Cheek. Abraham for Batshuay. How's Batshuay doing in one goal in four games? Not too bad. Unfortunately for Giroud, can't find a lot of game time for him at the moment. The squad is so competitive and we've got Abraham performing really well and uh, Batshuay as the ideal backup striker. But we'll see, you never know. It's never too late for Giroud. Uh, in terms of our wingers, I do want to... Hudson Odoi got a 7 in his last game, so why not? Let's keep him on. And I think we're ready to head into this one, guys. Kante still performing very well in his new box-to-box -box midfielder role. As he was changed from a ball-winning midfielder. And let's head straight into it, guys. Uh, Crystal Palace get the first half started. The team knows how much we need these three points. It's just a matter of applying the tactics which we've been practicing on the training ground and uh, putting them into practice in an actual real life situation here. 20 minutes in, or nearly 20 minutes in. And uh, still no chances. Kante is going to get a yellow card early on this first half. Goal kick for Chelsea. Approaching slowly the half-time whistle. Here we get Nastasic. He gets a warning by the referee. Here we go, guys. Into added time. And uh, still no, no, literally no chances from both teams. Crystal Palace are probably the only team to have actual shots in the whole game with two shots. We've done literally nothing so far this game. It's been a poor first half, I must admit. But uh, uh, at least maybe the good side is we haven't conceded. Here's Rudiger. We get the second half on the way. We really need to step up the tempo right now. We come on the back of some good result. 65th minute yet again. The game is just moving so fast and we're not doing anything. I'm not sure what's going on. But I think I want to bring in Kovacic for Mount. Unfortunately for the young star. It's been a poor performance from this team so far. Let's bring in Kovacic here. And let's bring in Pedro as well for Hudson Odoi. He's literally been ineffective. Uh, alongside the whole squad though. It's not just a man, one man problem. Come on guys, we really need to win here. We really, really need to win here. Of course, as if we want to challenge for that tower. If we want to... Uh, if top four will suffice, then maybe perhaps we can afford to lose some points. Which I don't want to do though. Here's Pedro! The substitute, just what we need to see, comes in for Hudson Odoi and uh, does what he's been asked to do, which is put in a good performance. And of course, he scores the goal. Now we've got to maintain this 1 0 lead. Aspiriqueta is Kante, doesn't hold that ball well. We need to be careful here. And it's a good defending four minutes at a time, which translates to four minutes of agony and four minutes of ultra defensive gameplay. Indirect free kick for Chelsea though, that's a, um, another 
a few good minutes wasted hopefully from that another one nil narrow window but it's just what we need to keep the pace on the premier league leaders uh Rudiger really doesn't do very well there to get the ball emerson needs to keep that flank covered he does pedro out wide pedro keeps it and it's an indirect free kick for crystal palace and this is surely has to be the first, last chance of the game Here's Christensen. Pedro, he's not going to make that. And that should be the final time, guys. All over, guys. We get a win here. A good start to the episode. And um, let's see what that puts us in this Premier League table. That does bring us up to third. And as I've been saying, we're now only three points behind the leaders. Now we take a trip, or we welcome, perhaps, uh, Salzburg to Stamford Bridge in our second Champions League game of the season. Hopefully we can put in a good performance here and actually win. Hippie Let's bring on uh, Zuma this time for Christensen. And I want to see a bit of Loftus-Cheek in this game. And I think everything else is good to go. I want to keep giving hudson Odoi some chances because I know he's really good. And actually let's bring on James for Azpilicueta. Pulisic, I did say we'll see him in the next game, but I don't know what's happening. He's now only one day, apparently. Hopefully that, that doesn't overstretch into another week. But a good record from us, as you can see. Three wins from our last five games. The rest only being draws. We get this first half underway. Loftus-Cheek and hudson Doy. Here's Emerson to Loftus-Cheek. Rudiger to Jorginho. A few good passes around the back. I was really putting pressure on a team to get the win in the Premier League. And now we need to put that pressure again and get our first win of the Champions League. We really need to start picking up some actual full points from these games. And very soon before the other clubs start overtaking us. And we find ourselves in a position where we're desperate for points. Which hopefully we don't get to. But we do really need these three points now. To start uh, putting some pressure on the other teams. 15 minutes in and no real chances. I'm not sure who's having the better game. I mean, we have more possession, but uh, Leipzig are the only team to have an actual shot on target in this game. Loftus cheek, corner kick. Twenty six minutes in, here's Leipzig with another chance here. Hudson Odoi, very good for Hudson Odoi. Abram has the chance to put us in front, but it gets saved or deflected. Uh William, not a very good ball to William, doesn't get it. Zuma's here to cover. Forty minutes in, Abraham. Actually, sorry. It's Salzburg. Is this Leipzig or Salzburg? Sorry, I was getting a bit confused. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing Werner on the strikers list. It's because we're not versing Leipzig, we're versing Salzburg. Sorry for that misleading information. Here's a yellow card for one of the Salzburg players. Yet again, we're each half time with literally um, nothing really to show uh, in terms of performance. I mean, we had the good, perhaps the best chance was when Tabney Abraham was making that promising run. But so far we have five shots and none of them on target. Really have to step it up, whether it's through a substitution or just the players are stepping up themselves that are already fielded on the pitch. Here is uh, Salzburg getting the second half on the way. Emerson, good interception from Emerson. Zuma, Jorginho, a few uh, passes here and there. Nothing too much. To uh, really show us some good qualities here. 60th minute though. Reese gets a talking to by the referee. Come on lads, we got to pick this one up. I think Pedro's going to have to come in again. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring in Pedro again. 
for Hudson Odoi. Here we go, guys. Pedro for Hudson Odoi, and let's bring in Kovacic for Loftus Cheek. And um, basically, the whole squad is basically on a six, which kind of hints at why we have not really been performing well. I mean, this whole squad is not having a good rating at this moment. And we're 75 minutes in, still 0-0. Very similar situation to that Crystal Palace game which we had earlier. And the game's just dragging on with no nothing really happening. James brings the ball forward. Referee's having a talk with Holland. A yellow card for Erling Holland. Seventy six minutes in, seventy seven. Come on, guys, come on. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Pick it up, come on. Seven minutes remaining, and this game is just dragging on. So many pointless commentary stuff coming up. And uh, what is this, a throw-in for us? A corner? What is it? It's a throw-in. Here's Daniel James. This is probably the closest we've been to that goal so far. Here's Willian. Awful back pass to Zuma. We're literally playing. Yeah, not good. Not not good at all. Here's Kante. Kante gets injured. And a free kick, but it's all the way down the halfway line. Let's be honest here, it's not a very good opportunity. But hopefully we can make something out of it. Here's Reese James to Emerson. Kante, and it's a goal, guys. It's an own goal, though. But Kante can take some credit for that. He did take the shot. It must have been a pretty bad deflection for it to be considered an own goal. But that's exactly what we needed, guys. We needed that goal, and we got it very late on again in the second half. Uh, not a very good overall performance, guys, I have to admit. And um, whew, that transfer budget. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. We're not going to use that transfer budget. What I would do, though, is if by the time I know Chelsea are going to have their decision, is Willian. F yes, that's the finishing touch. That's what I wanted to see. No offside right there. A good run from Willian. And that puts the game out of uh, out of the question. What I was saying is, if by the time we have not reached the, the January transfer the market deadline, sorry, and um, obviously Chelsea are meant to find out if they're going to have their transfer ban overturned in January or not, that mean they're going to find out uh, in December. So if we're at a similar timeline between this career mode and what's happening to the real life events i will take matters uh, i will take them in consideration so obviously if um, lampard gets his ban overturned and they're allowed to spend money in january then we'll do the same if we are at the same pace so far i can definitely say that we do need to invest quite a bit of money uh we've got how much do we have in the bank i think 195 million or something sitting there yeah, we got, sorry, 159 million sitting in the bank waiting to be spent, but we're going to keep true to our word. And why not? Let's go versus Everton in the next game. And uh, let's try and make this three wins out of three. That would be really nice. And let's bring on Christensen back for Zuma. Aspilicueta on for James. And we got Pulisic back, guys. He's going to come in for Hudson Odoi. And um, yeah. Things are looking well, guys, so far. But a bit concerned with these results, which we are leaving to the last minute. We need to kind of sort that out. Reversing Everton, though, some very, very big, big opponents. Certainly a top six team. And it's Kante to Willian. Willian, very good goal he scored in his last game. It's really good. It's Kepar is a good pass to Kante. Some very good ball distribution from the keeper. And uh, the players are finding good space, spaces to uh, get passes into. 
which is good. Hosting Everton at Stamford Bridge, a big game. Got Craig Paulson, which is the referee in charge. Hopefully, it would be nice to score a goal in this uh, first half for once. But uh, we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully, uh, Everton don't take the lead anytime soon. Here's Coleman. He could be in trouble here. He gets a yellow card. It's 20 minutes in. And uh, Everton get a good chance here. As Pilaqueta does not manage to get on the end of that. And it's a goal kick. Uh, promising chance for Everton to get the first goal of the game. And here's Ariza Balaga to Abraham. Emerson needs to get to that. Uh, throw in for Aspilicueta. Willian. Uh, potential cross, but it does get deflected for a corner kick. And here's Willian again. Hopefully Abraham can find this one. Oh, it's a goal kick. That was Abraham as well. He found it, but it just didn't go in the back of the net. Not a good pass to Mount. Arizabalaga needs to... What was that? Uh, nearly, nearly conceded from that fucking chance. Here's Willian. Keeps it very nice. Back to Kente. And for some reason, we don't get to see the end of that highlight. Half time again with no goal. Not a uh, over-the-top brilliant performance either. I mean, according to the stats, we are not playing well. But uh, we've got the second half to kind of play for it. Got Pulisic coming back, who's been a bit silent this first half. All these players need to really step it up this second half. Good from Aspilicueta, but not a good pass to Willian. Fifty two minutes in. Not a good pass to Willian again from Aspilicueta. Sigurdsson, Calvert Lewin, and Everton get their goal. Third goal of the season. Apparently, there was talks about offside, but VAR would have surely intervened if there was. I haven't done ourselves any favour. We are one goal back now and we don't look like the team to be actually getting a goal back. Here's Pulisic going again uh, to the ball. Here's Emerson. He's going to get it, Emerson. He's got us on the halfway line. I can't believe that. What an equaliser. And Pickford is going to be absolutely fuming uh, about that. Emerson, first goal of the season. What a first goal. And all of a sudden, we look like we could potentially get a second goal. Here's Willian. Abraham hits the post. Christensen, back to Kante, Jorginho, Kante, Kante, oh my days, Emerson, and it's our throwing guys, let's calm down for a minute, it's been a bit too much, I'm barely able to keep up with the commentary, but what a good chance, Abram hits the post, that was 2-1, it had 2-1 written all over it, 75 minutes in guys, let's make a change, probably going to bring in Pedro for Pulisic, or Willian, let's see, let's, we're going to be bringing in for Willian, and let's bring on Kovacic for Mount. And come on, guys. Let's try to get a winner here. It would be nice. We had to again. What a goal from Emerson. Just when things did not look good for us. Pickford comes out. Perhaps makes a good clearance. But the clearance goes all the way to Emerson. And props to Emerson. Props to Emerson for actually getting that goal in. Seventy-six minutes. Oh, sorry, I pressed the pause button by accident. Seventeen minutes in, guys. About twelve minutes plus added time to really get a nice winner here. Another late winner, unfortunately, but it would have to do against a a big team like Everton. Come on, guys. Come on, pointless commentary again, 93 minutes in guys, Emerson to Pulisic, and not a good pass, and I think that is it guys, we're going to have to set up for that, uh, for those uh, points, unfortunately, a bit concerned about the squad, I mean, in the terms of playing, I mean, we managed to beat, who was it, who did we beat earlier, uh, we managed to beat uh, Tottenham quite comfortably, 3-1, and we managed to beat uh, Arsenal as well. And now we are uh, not making good steps towards uh, keeping up in the title race. Even so, we've got Manchester City, the league leaders up next. 
that's gonna be an interesting one but we'll save that for the next video but in terms of the um, the title race Manchester City and Man United once again find themselves with a game in hand but as it stands we're level on terms with Man City and only two points behind Manchester United we've also got Liverpool uh, behind us as well and Tottenham could overlap us if they get a win in, in the next game um, they have a game in hand as well but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one peace